record. Oh, my hair! I cut it all off! Oh man, I might as well just shave that off. Anyway, welcome back you guys to Bring Me Up Scotty. I am Scotty and yeah, if I look a little bit tired, it probably is because I am. It's super late night right now. I actually just came into the office to drop by and do this video for you guys. I think you deserve it. And you know, I've been really busy. I'm leaving tomorrow. We're going to Macau to do a show. See you guys later. Until next time, bring me out. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, today is kind of your Q&A, fan mail, something like that. Maybe store update. I don't know. Let's just roll the cameras and see what happens. Q&A time. I need my phone. Oh, and don't mind these sets here on the side. I'll get to those. They're actually pretty cool. You know, they're from Symbol Block, but I'll review them soon. Keep an eye out for them. And anyway, let's see. Q&A time. And this question is probably the most important question you guys have been waiting for. Giveaway winner, remember? Here we go. Here it is. I closed this contest a while ago. I haven't announced a winner. I did all the counts. And yeah, we have the winner. Are you guys ready for this? Dun, 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 dun. The winner is, I gotta see if I can say this name right. Here we go. Mirza Nerkovic. Mirza Nerkovic. You're the one who asked me who won. Guess what? You did. Congratulations. This is yours. Mirza, Mir, my, Mir, Marza. Man, I, I'm really bad at names. Anyway, this is yours. So please contact, email us on my web store, pickmeupscotty.com. Go to the contact and email there and send us your address where you at so I can send this to ya. And for those of you who want to really know, the Kellogg's was 298 pieces, the Pizza Hut was 260, the Spa was 388, the Sausage Joint was 147, and the Monster Truck was 292. So you can add it up and it comes out to 1385, 1385 pieces. And super congrats to all you guys that played too. A lot of you put numbers in there. You know what? There's like a top four, yeah? You wanna know who who, were, who else was close? Aqua Death Knight had 893. It's Chase with 847. And Hazel, you had 1618. And speaking of Hazel, he sent me another fan mail. So we're gonna open that up in a second. And Mirza came the closest, right? With 1,450. So there you go. Congratulations, Mirza. This is coming your way. All right, next Q&A, here we go. So this comment was recently put in one of my videos that I've reviewed for the Hoy Architecture Style from Billy Goatsworth that asked something really? Yes, I had to kind of censor that out, but I'm not gonna really say it. You can see what the comment is there. But for all my friends over there in Germany, you know what my last name means, right? You know, put it in the comment here. Let everyone have a good laugh, right? This one is from Thomas. Thomas, you just asked me, are these video and brick products made in Hawaii? or Hong Kong office. Just curious. I wish I had an office in Hawaii. You never know, I have family over there. That was a really short trip, by the way. That was insanely fast. But the office is here in Hong Kong. Question from Hazel, she asked, what does the sticker at the poster say on the most recent video I reviewed, which is the tea house with the poster in the back? I will translate that and I'll put it back into your comment and I will pin it. So you guys wanna see that translation? I will put it up by the time this video goes up, right? And speaking of Hazel, you sent me some fan mail. So here we go. Yeah, look at that. Nice. I covered up your address for identity's sake. No, no one can find you. But you can see here, it is from the US United Postal Service. Yes, I'm blessed to have people send me stuff and gifts. So thank you so much. And speaking of fan mail, if you guys really want to send letters or fan mails, but I'm too far in Hong Kong for you, I asked a friend already, or more like my auntie. She's my auntie, all right? Yeah, auntie, thank you so much. She's willing to give her address. So I'm gonna post it all over the place so you guys can send stuff to her. She is in the US, so we want to send mail there. She'll bulk send them to me. And also, I'm gonna ask someone in the UK. So just look in the description of this video if you want to send me stuff or not, you know. I appreciate you guys sending me gifts. Thank you so much. So Hazel, let's open this thing up. I wonder what's inside. What do you guys think it is? Can't be too big. It's not a creator set. Come on. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's a beauty box. Beauty box. I need something to beautify my lovely face. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna open this. Tear it open. Rip this sucker. I'm just gonna rip it, right? You don't mind if I just rip this thing right out? I'm too excited. It's like Christmas here. Pull this, pull it. Gotta make sure it's nothing crazy in here, right? Oh, what is this? Oh, it's just a styrofoam piece. Here we go, ready? 
Okay, it's a letter so far. Okay, I'm gonna read this letter to you guys, January 19, 2019. So this was actually mailed out on the 19th and it arrived on the 29th. I saw the date, so it was pretty fast, yeah? All right, dear Scotty and dear, here is a limited edition 100 stores Lego minifigure from North America for you. Amazing, I've heard about this. Thank you so much, this is great. Sorry about sending it in a beauty box. No problem, you can send it in whatever box you like. But this was the smallest, most sturdy way to ship it while keeping costs down. Since it is a limited edition, I didn't want the actual plastic box of the minifigure to get smashed up. That part, I leave up to you. You know I won't smash up the box, but I'm gonna cut it open anyway. You ready to see this? Da -da -da, here it is. Open this up. Wow, there it is. This is really awesome. You know what the best part is? This thing will open without breaking. Yeah, I don't have to destroy the packaging. It opens, look at the sound of that. Can you guys like the sound of that? Yeah. Whoa, what a cool minifigure. Is there any important information about this? Components made in Denmark, Hungary, Mexico, China, and the Czech Republic, all over the place. There it is. Cool little brick. You know what? I'm gonna put this on a spinning platform and give it some justice so you guys can actually see what this looks like. This is cool. It's printed and it says 100 Lego stores, North America on the back. This guy's got like a uniform on there, standing on this proud red brick with the same printing on there. That is so cool. That is really awesome. Great. Now I can stick this nicely back in here and resell it. No, I won't do that to you. Hazel, thank you so, so much for this gift. I appreciate it so much. This is really, really amazing. I'm so blessed to have you and everybody, all you subscribers, fans that are coming on the channel. Thank you for supporting the channel and for the thing I love doing, which is reviewing sets now for you guys. I'm enjoying it just as much as I am building them. But you know, I'm a little bit slow right now. I hope to get you more sets soon. So hang in there. More stuff will be reviewed. I'm taking all you guys' requests and just backlogging everything. I'll get there. Okay, so for the room tour now from Time Me or Time Time is it T Me? Anyway, I'm gonna show it to you with this thing. Look, I just got this. This is the DJI Pocket Camera. This thing is so cool. It's so small. I can turn it on. Don't have to worry about carrying a big old camera around. I'll just steal the audio from that camera and record this now. We're recording on this. Check this out. I can do a selfie like this. Oh, I look terrifying on this camera. Oh, look, it's got face tracking too. You gonna follow me like that? Oh, I don't need a cameraman anymore. I can even set this thing down here and be like, welcome. There's stuff over here. And there's stuff over here. This is really cool. I have a really old channel that reviews camera products. I haven't done one in a while. Maybe I'll do this little guy, yeah? You know, I don't know if you're interested in it. But let's take a look at the room. I'm gonna stand up and move around. Okay, let's get a wide shot of the office. A lot of you guys have seen this before. Why am I doing selfie mode? Switch back. There we go. Don't. Turn around camera. There we go. Yeah. There's the lights. There's the camera. And this is my studio now, man. Look at that. It's growing. I am trying to organize, seriously, I'm trying really hard to clean up these tables because I told you guys what I'm gonna do really soon is pull a lot of these sets back out and separate them by brands on table so we can do set comparison and sit down together and you guys can tell me in the comments of what sets you want me to do and I'll do them for you. But here, we'll do a quick pan through here. I thought I showed this to you guys before, but anyway. You know, you can see some new updates. This guy is still standing. He's still standing. He will fall if you touch him. And there's the Coco Curry house. You know, we have so much of this, I don't even think we're selling it on the store. And I, where did my top plate? Oh, I'm using this for the dimension. That's why I stole that piece. But anyway, this should go up on the store pretty soon. Man, I'm slow on the store. We got Cloud City over here. I still need to review that. I got two roller coasters here. Still need to do this one too, man. There's a lot I know I need to do. But a lot of the stuff that you see on the table here, Tyler likes to play with them. 
he actually runs into all the shelves here and moves a lot of things. So I start to miss a lot of pieces. But anyway, we'll get to those. Look, there's more up there and there. We'll, we'll, I'll try to walk slowly through this to give you a tour. Yeah, more the creator sets from Lego. Those are all Legos, by the way. I will get to those. I want to review them so bad, but I'm trying to review old and new stuff as fast as I can. For some reason, this Urban Villages is the most popular video on my channel. Weird. Some new stuff down here. Yeah, Lego. Oxford Blocks transport set. We'll get to that. I've been trying to get to that, man. That'll probably be next, the China Hotel. This might be a little bit controversial, but a lot of you before have asked me to please, please review this set. I'm not quite sure what to think of it. Here's the bank. And here's the Shanghai Tower. Will it fall over if I push it? Ho, 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 look at that. It wants to fall over, but it can't. Wan Ge, you scare me sometimes. Disney Castle, I know. I love it, I'll get to it. I still have to get to these two too. Voltron and the Empire State Building. These are from panels. These are like mini cities, but they're not really scaled to mini figures. But the ones I showed you earlier, like this one, these ones are better. These are actually kind of like Oxford block size. You got 7-Eleven, little Apple store, a coffee shop joint here. That's actually pretty good. And the KFC, okay, easy, excuse me. There, I'm recording myself on that monitor there. That's how I set up my monitors. That's the shipping area back there for Ida, who controls the BrickMeUpScotty.com store. Boxes and tape, and we have the way our sets, and the boxes from like FedEx, DHL, all that kind of stuff. I really have to say thank you so much for those supporting the store and actually buying from us. You know, we're trying our best to get the best prices we can. Shipping, we really still don't have much control over. But the good news is we can ship with batteries now, which is really cool because that introduces a lot of other brands that I've never heard of or I heard of now, but we'll start getting reviews for those. And also, you know, we have more options. We are slowly updating the store. The shipping has been adjusted. We actually might be getting staff, man, hiring people to help actually make the store more efficient for you guys to browse and see new stuff and try to update weekly. And thank you for signing up for the newsletter. My goodness, there's like over 200 of you on the newsletter. I'm sorry to leave you hanging. I will write to you, but you know, just follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and follow the channel, and you'll, you'll see stuff that I do release. And speaking of releases, not much is really new, but you know, this came in. This set arrived, and then I kind of researched and found out this might actually be a stolen set. I'm not sure. Can anyone in the comment confirm that with me? or should I really, really review this? I will leave that up to you guys if you want me to review it. It's actually pretty cool because it's like food stands and a street stall there. There's not too much information about it online, but it is the Hong Kong street food. So that's pretty cool. Mr. Tea House, what you doing over there? This is really cool. This is Ocean World from Oxford Block. How awesome is that? Beach. Don't mind this thing, this is from Ember. This is a coffee mug that is controlled by your phone to keep it hot, your coffee hot. Down below here, we got some more equipment. This is a slider equipment from my very good friend, Patrick. Watch this stuff here. He does amazing time lapse and he actually helped me do one stop motion. I haven't gone to that video, man. That's a really old video, I will get to it. Anyway, what else we got? And over here, we have this thing called the Dino Museum, which is in complete pieces because it fell off the table. Don't ask me how, why, or if I'll ever do the set. It's a stolen idea. I'm not really sure if I will review it. The same thing goes for this one, which I can't say too much about. A lot of you guys are asking me about that. I'm so sorry, out of respect for the designer. Uh, I'll explain about that in another video. I promise you I will. Oh, check this out. Forget that thing, look at this. Yeah, just brick it. You know, I think some of you were asking about this shoe on a forum in Reddit, but there it is. This is available on the store. It's only one though. You need to be a pair. It's not bad. Yeah, this piece moves here, up and down. It's not bad, it's a nice little gift to buy it for someone. I like it, it's sturdy, look at that. Kick someone in there for that, but you know. Maybe your baby's feet can fit in that. Might hurt though. More boxes here, nothing here, entrance here. 
piano for Ida. She loves playing piano. This is going in my house. This is the editing room. I know it's a little bit messy in here. So I just store everything, you know, some more sets that have kind of been damaged. Nick, I'm sorry. The gate, the Golden Gate kind of fell apart and this museum, freaking museum fell apart. So I got to build, rebuild that a little bit. There's the roller coaster from Lego. And look, I know it's so super messy. My editing suite. This is where I just sit most of the time and edit all these Lego videos for you guys. I'm working on this one next. I hope to get it out soon. All right, so congrats to Mirza for the giveaway contest. I will do another one shortly or soon. There's a lot more to give away to you guys and I really appreciate you guys playing and having some fun. And thank you so much for watching the channel and supporting this. If you have any more Q&As, throw them in the comments and I'll try to reply them back to you. And thank you for supporting the store. All that good jazz, yeah? Yeah, look at this, my own cameraman. Follow me over here. All right, you guys, until next time, break me out, break me out. This thing won't let me break out, man. Leave me, leave me alone, leave me alone. Yes, break me out. Happy Valentine's Day. Every day it's the 14th, yes. It's also my birthday today. Not that it really matters. I'm a year older. Boy, am I becoming an old man. You know what? I have advice for you, young guys that are watching the channel. That girl that you're chasing, you're texting, you're maybe FaceTiming, I don't know. You wanna go out with her? Go chase her. Just do it. And if you get rejected, it's all good, man. If that happens, you just watch my channel and, you know, maybe not. That might make you even more depressed. Anyway, go out there and get it. Same goes for you, lady. Go out there and get that guy. It's much easier for you, trust me. This has got to be the last Chinese New Year set. Stop making these. Yay for originality, or kind of. I feel like deja vu right now, seriously. What's going on here?